John Shea Bear 1000 here. I've got this John Deere LA 145 that won't start. Now this is different from the other one that I posted, okay, where it had a stick in it. This is a little different because Can you hear that? We're going to diagnose this and find out what's going on with it. Stick around. Okay guys, sorry about the wind noise. Uh, I do have a lapel mic on. Thought maybe that would help. but. Let's raise the hood up on this. Now I suspect this right here, let me get you in here a little bit tighter. That right there is a starting solenoid, starter solenoid, whichever you prefer. Right there. Now of course the first thing you're gonna always wanna check is the battery. I'm pretty sure this battery is good. I'm pretty sure it's up. Uh, you can test it with a multimeter, okay, uh, but a lot, a lot of people don't have that thing. But I know what a lot of people do have is a screwdriver. Just get you an old screwdriver, a nail, whatever. But if I... try to crank that, that solenoid's clicking. Now... I'm going to go ahead and shut this off because I don't want it to start. This thing might start up. So leave your ignition off. And there's a, a pole here and a pole here. Let me... I don't have my glasses on. I should put my glasses on here so I can see what's going on in the camera. Okay, so again, sorry for the wind. There's a pole here and a pole here. Okay. Take your screwdriver, piece of metal, whatever. A wrench. And it's cranking over. The battery is a little low, but it's cranking. But if I use the key, nothing. So I know what that is. So I went ahead and ordered one. And I'll get to some details with that here in just a second. Now, this here, this is what I ordered. Let me back you out. Okay. This is what it looks like. All right. These things are very easy to change. Now, again, a lot of you guys already know this, but thanks for watching anyway. This is for the people that don't know. That might help them save them a little money. It's going to bolt on just like that. Now, it's aftermarket, so, you know, it could look a little different here. And the way it bolts on, see, that one's kind of bolted on like that with the... But it's okay, all right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change this out and see if that makes a difference. Now, what I'm going to be using, this one here is bigger. That's a half inch for the old one. This new one is a 7 16 Just got a couple old wrenches here. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is unhook this battery. Okay, now I'm going to cut you off for a second. I'm going to move you over here and point you down. Maybe you can see a little bit better. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is unhook this battery. You only have to unhook one side. Now, preferably, if you can get to it, always unhook your uh, negative cable first. And I'm going to have to go get another wrench to hold that. But always unhook your negative cable first. That way, if it touches any kind of metal at all, it's not going to spark. Now, if you do it over here and touch metal, you're going to spark, possibly cause a fire, melt some wires, ruin your wrench, weld your wrench to the frame, whatever. Always unhook your negative cable first. Now, let me go get another wrench, and we'll take that off. Now, <clears throat> just hold one end. I know these need need to be cleaned real good, but uh, this summer I'm going to put 
was hoping I wasn't rubbing the mic too bad. I'm going to put a new battery in it, and I'm going to put this in my orange one. And the one that's in the orange one, I'll take in for a return. So, always make sure they're clean. Because sometimes they get that, looks like green fur growing on it. So, now this new part at the end of this video, I will put a list on the screen of all the tractors this one part will fit, will work on. Okay, so right now. We're just going to put this on here, this nut back on here so we don't lose it. Which I'll put new, new nuts on it and everything like that. This tractor's old. It's, I don't know, probably 10 years old. I'd have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's at least 10 years old. Now over here, uh... Let me see. Let me bring you over here. And I guess I can work from the other side. There we go. Uh, I'll bring you in a little tighter on that shot. Okay. Now if you want, you can take pictures of how these go. But this is the purple wire. Also, the first thing you can do, too, is clean your connections. But I know for a fact this one's bad. But if you want, go ahead and clean all your connections first. Take a picture of this. So purple's going to be on the right. Black's going to be on the left. So, all right. Now I'm going to go ahead. Now, see, I, I can touch them and nothing will happen because I unhooked a positive cable so let's go ahead and... but yeah I know for a fact that that's what this issue has been going on for a long time I've got one here I was going to put on it which would work it would work fine but I didn't want to cut these original wires so I didn't use this so and it got to where it would do that and you tap on it and it would start then last time we had it running i tapped on it it would not start so i'm just going to put this back on here like that now let's go ahead and there we go this off so my guess what I'm I'm gonna be thinking now don't mark me on it but I'm thinking this is gonna be the bottom one right here so that's where the starter wire is going to go it's going to go here and the battery wire is going to go here purple will go here black will go there but we'll get to that and if it don't work you're not going to burn something up it just won't start for you so um like i said these are half inch these are five sixteenths which i have out here somewhere i think i brought it and i had it in my hand um okay i gotta go find my five sixteenths hangs hang on a second guys okay i'm back now just take these little screws out now listen guys if you break these off ain't no big deal just move it over drill you another little hole and put these back in it's not a big it's not a big deal if these break uh, you can use self tappers on these as long as it as long as it holds it in there and it's not flopping around uh, what it does it has a connection in there okay and what happens is 
when you energize both of these okay that's what turns your motor over that's what puts power from here to that one in order for that to do that your wire see the blacks the ground your purple wire when you turn the key over to start it it puts uh puts 12 volts into this okay and what that does inside of here is a little um electromagnet and it will pull uh something like a little washer in there it'll pull it up against the inside of these two posts and that's what makes contact and then when you let off the key this goes dead and then you're running okay so that's how that works um, in a nutshell I mean that's pretty much it I don't have a cutaway see it's just one of these um, you can use self tappers if you have to if you break one of these off it's not the end of the world don't freak out and now I'm, I'm going to give you the part number of this thing because this thing will fit I don't know 50 or 60 different lawn lawn tractors um, I'll put it on the screen but I'll give you a part the part number for this here in just a second and where it came from and how much it costs and all that but let's get this on here first and make sure okay all right now like I said I'm just gonna put this back on here you can clean that up but it doesn't ground through that so it's not real important that you do so you can just put this on here and no it's not half assing the job is done right get my fingers working right here find the threads um, yeah this came late because it came in the damn mail but it went I'll tell you where it went I always try to do the hard one first and get it out of the way uh, this came from New Philadelphia Ohio about 45 minutes from my hometown if that something like that okay came from New Philadelphia Ohio now um, put this one in first I guess and it left there it left New Philadelphia and went up to Grand Rapids Michigan it left Grand Rapids Michigan it went to New Hampshire it left New Hampshire, came down here to Florida, and uh, it went to Jacksonville. It left Jacksonville, went to Gainesville, and went from Gainesville to here. Now, I don't know why it would have to go into Michigan, then over to New Hampshire to come down here to Florida. You know, so it went, it went uh, northwest. And it traveled over northeast before it headed south. And uh, hell, it was traveling in those three states for a week before it headed this way. And then, like I said, it went to Jacksonville, Gainesville, then down to here. So, if you ask me, it's a, a lot of fuel. And it wasn't it wasn't flown, of course. It was. You ask me it's a lot of fuel wasted fuel when it could leave there and just go straight to Jacksonville and they're all distribution centers distribution centers okay so anyway it's not about that I just <laughs> thought you'd be interested in that because it's kind of weird now we're gonna take it has a lock lock washer on it now we're gonna put this one here right put this one on here and when you tighten these guys don't don't go crazy on them because you'll snap them off okay so can't get my fingers to work right today but it happens right all right 
Okay. Now remember, this one's a 7 sixteenths. I'll go ahead and tighten this down. I don't think these two matter because all it does is make power go from one to the other. So these two don't matter, all right? And like I said, make sure you clean your connections up real good. This one looked pretty good and I'm putting new stuff on it. I may take a wire brush across that battery, but uh, um, like I said, I'm getting a new battery for it uh, probably March when mowing season kicks in. She likes to mow a lot. Uh, actually, we both do, but she really likes it and I really like it, but some days she'll, I'll just hear the mower fire up. She'll beat me to it. Uh, so I want it to be right for her when she gets on it to use it. Okay, so now let's this out of the way here. All right. Get our washer on and our nut on. I'm going to get a nut. You know what? I don't like it like that. I'm gonna switch these two around because like I said, these two does not matter. Cause all it's gonna do, all it does is just make contact between the two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and these two big ones they do not matter. Because the power on this goes through this little wire right here and then into this fuse which you know runs your lights your charging system and all that so it's connected onto this so that's not going to matter let's go ahead and put this on here we'll get our put our nut on some people call it a bolt called a nut that's going on to a bolt all right it's a pretty nice day out today I think it's like uh, it's pushing 70 degrees it might be 70 it's supposed to be 72 it might be 70 but it is breezy today a lot breezier than it was yesterday it's not cold I mean I'm pretty comfortable all right so let's see that way it's a little closer looks a little better I know I got a comment from an idiot that said, you know, you say you don't like to half-ass anything, but that was when I was doing a door handle on the truck and apparently I ran out of memory, but I did explain to everything, everybody, and I showed how it goes on, and so I had to comment about that. Nothing was half-assed. Just because my memory card got full, you know, I still did the job and did it right. It's not half-ass, you know. How can you can screw running out a memory card on your camera to half-assing a job saying I didn't? Well, that's how I know they don't watch the damn thing all the way through when I explain and I show, look, this is how it goes. And pretty much if you take something apart that simple, it's because he was like, how's the clips go on? I explained that. But if you take something apart that damn simple... And you put it back and opposite of what you did it's you know I mean it's pretty self-explanatory isn't it just go backwards from the way you did it the way you took it off I mean but as far as the job that's not half-assing anything the job was done it was done right and it works and it was done with brand new parts so anyway freaking trolls then i had a guy comment one day we was going back and forth about something and it was just like you know he's he's just a little smart ass i mean you can tell it keyboard warrior in his mommy's basement ma give me another sandwich i got a comment to this dude hitting the dislike buttons i finally i finally deleted him and you know uh blocked him but the thing about it is uh 
you know, he just, he just flat said one day, he just messaged me, or not messaged me, but commented on something. You're a fucking asshole. You know what? I don't need your shit. You're done. You know, all because, you know, I'm proving a point. And yeah, I have a right to defend myself. I don't have to take that shit from anybody. You know, when I'm doing the job and I'm doing it right, I've got a fairly high IQ, I would think, of 144 is not too bad, if you ask me. But anyway, then I had a guy comment, well, I got, I got 184 IQ. I said, your IQ is not, you don't even know what, what an IQ is. He says, you only got 144? Well, that's borderline genius, you know? So, but I got a right to defend myself, you know what I mean? And, uh, and that's what I'm going to do. But when you just call me a fucking asshole because I'm proving a point and you, you know, and you can't win, that's ridiculous. Okay, so let's back you out here. Now remember, the battery's a little low. But let's just, uh, let's go ahead and see if it'll start. I gotta get a new throttle uh, lever for this thing. Uh, I got charger here just in case I need, well, just in case I need to boost it. Alright, so we're going to put this on here. We're going to put this one on here. Alright, let's just touch it real quick. There we go. See? Alright, let's see if it'll start. It's been setting for a while. It might not start. Okay, no problem. I got a booster right here. That's no big deal. See, this one's in here. That one really needs clean um, but like i said when i put a new battery in it's getting all new i may put new cables on it uh but it may not need them go ahead and put this on here i want to kick it up to it's just 40 amps that should be enough to crank this i'm not going to have to put a 200 amp boost but let's try it well maybe i am I know last time we started it the battery was dead because it sat for a long time and I just ran it around front and back around here and it kept that charge that good. There we go. this tractor it does not have an amp gauge but I check it every so often sounds like it needs the valves adjusted you hear that tapping sounds like a knock okay So there it is. Uh, I got all the gaskets and everything to rebuild this engine. I do not have the rings. There's a few different size rings for this thing. And I even run it through the, uh, the model type and code number. Still three different sets of rings, three different sizes. So for this engine, I don't know how it can be a different size when it's 22 horse. But uh, I do so I'll, what I have to do is take the damn engine apart and put a micrometer on the rings to get the right rings. See, that thing charges up really good. All right, so that's that. Now, let me show you some part numbers. Let's talk about the part. Okay, guys, the part I got is from Stens, okay? Uh, Pterodactyl would be proud of me, wouldn't he? A lot of you guys might know who I'm talking about. But I uh, love that guy. He's really cool. Uh, the part number is 435-151. Now that will fit a tractor, a John Deere tractor, from the 102 clear up to the Z335E and more. 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it across the screen. I'm going to bring it up kind of slow, and you guys can pause and look for your uh, for your particular tractor. And uh, so I'm going to do that right now, so you guys can check your part numbers if you need to. If not, go ahead and skip forward to the outro. So there you guys go. Um, first thing to check, check your battery. Um, if you don't have a multimeter, like I said, arc your uh, arc a screwdriver across them two posts and it should crank. And if it doesn't, then you could have a dead battery. Try to jump start it. Um, see if you see where you go from there. If your if your ends are kind of nasty like this one is, clean all your connections first. Clean them all up still don't do anything you know put a jumper box on it still don't do anything then you know arc across that solenoid now if that does not work there could be an issue with your starter it could be hanging up it could be you know the 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 cable on your starter there's one cable that runs right down to the starter and uh, go ahead and clean it you know take the nut off clean it real good and try that but I think chances are, once you find, if it's clicking like that and you don't have a dead battery, usually if it's clicking, your, uh, your connections are making a good connection. It's always good to clean them anyway. But usually, that's, that's telling you at least to the solenoid, it is getting connection. And uh, usually what you'll find is it's, it's, it's a bad solenoid. Sometimes tap on it. If you tap on it and it cranks fine, then you know that's what it is. But hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, just kind of quick, self-explanatory. Like I said, just uh, four wires. Um, the two top ones, you know, no big deal. Like I said, take a picture if you want. Uh, these aftermarket ones, like I said, may look a little different. But if you got the two small ones and then the two big ones, it's going to fit your tractor. Um, you can also get these at uh, part stores, you know. You can go to your local uh, lawnmower shop or you know small engine shop I ordered this online I got it through eBay it came out of um, uh, I don't know the guy's eBay store name but it came out of uh, New Philadelphia Ohio and um, uh, it was $15 free shipping um, you can spend you know $30 on these if you go through John Deere you're looking at 30 bucks but if you go, you know, this is a Stens, and if you go through Stens, now I don't know how much it'll cost through Stens, okay, but this is a Stens part. Um, like I said, this was $15, so just shop around and you should be okay. Again, sorry for the wind noise. We got this, uh, we got it running now. Start. It'll start for, I am going to go ahead and put it on a trickle charge for a couple hours, and I think it'll be fine. Uh, like I said, I will be putting a new battery in it, and I'm going to put that battery into my orange one. And when I do that, I'm going to clean all the connections and all that stuff like you should do anytime you change a battery. So that battery is old. That battery, I forget. Well, we've been together over four years. And that battery, that battery was sitting in a garage. Her original battery, which I still have, finally puked in it. And she said, well, that battery is no good. And I said, well, let me, let me check it. And I checked it with a test light. Test light was a little dim. I thought, hmm. So I put it on the charger for a little bit. And then I checked it with a multimeter, and it came up uh, 13 something, 13 volts. And I was like, well, this battery's good, at least for now. And this was whew, over three years ago. 
and it's still going so but it is getting old so um like i said it'll be good enough for my orange tractor my orange tractor is just a backup anyway um so there you guys go hopefully again it helped and i'm sorry about the wind noise i'm sorry if i was rubbing the mic too much please bear with me uh, i don't i i never wore it a lot but um like out here i wanted to get my mouth closer to the mic so you guys could hear me better um so anyway hopefully that helped hopefully you found your part number and like i said that's what i looked up i, I copied that off a line it said and many more you know um so you know best thing you can do is just look your part over and if it looks like that chances are it's going to be right okay just, you know make sure it's 12 volt blah 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 um i think you'll be okay but with with that list you just saw i mean it's got your tractor will probably fall under that somewhere uh that also is not just for john deere these will work on uh mtd craftsman which craftsman mtd uh it will work on um you know murray's pretty much anything that has that two little wires and the two big wires pretty much fit any of those kind of tractors so you know i mean it'll fit i was going to take the one off my simplicity and put on here but i just went ahead and ordered one um because that way i didn't have to do it twice because if i'd have took it off took mine off put on hers and i would have just put a new one on that one instead of pouring it off again i was like no i want to make sure she has a, a good one because i don't know how old that one is on the simplicity but it's the same one it'll fit that simplicity it fits fits hundreds of different uh tractors so what you what you want to do is just you know uh, if you if you go to order one if if you don't have a john deere if you have a craftsman or a murray or a simplicity or something like that if you have one of those you know just uh when you go to order it just uh you know make sure your tractor is covered you know because usually down below it'll give you a list of compatible uh, vehicles compatible tractors so make sure just make sure you you look it over good and like i said don't be alarmed if it's shaped a little different take a picture of yours if you have to take it off clean your stuff boom now if your stuff's really clean you know there's no shame in doing one wire at a time you know i'm bolting the old one leaving the wires attached bolt the new one on then take one wire off at a time put on your new one there's no shame in that uh even if it does need clean you know clean it as you take it off and put it back on it's real simple so you guys should be all right if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i'll get back to you as quick as i can and uh we'll try to get straightened out together so with that being said guys thanks for watching shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now hope this helped stands bye bye guys and take care